generations of power. All right, listen up. We've got a lot to get through, so let's power through this. I'm talking about the power to propel vehicles. Keep us warm, run your games console, or microwave an egg. Ooh, hey, yeesh, uh, that's not good. Well, all that power was once just potential energy and has to be generated. And we've been working hard on that since mm, forever. Let's see where to start. Too far. <laughs> totally unrealistic. Hmm. That's better. So it started from a need to stay warm. Everyone <laughs> likes being warm. And we must have known there was energy stored in things. If only we could get it out. Voila, fire, energy from potential energy. Cooking, heating, keeping monsters away, all that stuff. But we weren't just going to sit around setting fire to twigs. Oh no, we saw potential and we wanted more. So we carried right on burning stuff. But this time we boiled water to make steam, to push pistons or turn wheels, turbines. And this energy was soon converted into electricity, the invisible zappy stuff you can store in batteries which was kind of a massive deal because it provided light and warmth. We could send it through cables, pretty much anywhere we needed it. But we still needed to burn things like coal to turn turbines to make it. And that's kind of what a nuclear power station is. A great big kettle heating steam. But there are more ways. Let's see, there are wind turbines. <laughs> cool. And solar panels, also cool. Catch a tan while you generate power. <laughs> Brilliant. Geothermal, that's where you sit on top of a volcano until you're toasty warm. Sort of. And that's not even the wildest way to generate power. There are cars that run on alcohol from fermented plants. Whole power stations that run on animal poo. Discos powered by disco dancing. And batteries made of seawater or liquid metal or fruit. Look, ooh, let's, let's try a banana. Hey, fruit power. Oh, dodgy banana? <laughs>